I finished building the final power amplifier for the Dueling 612's uh, radio and you can see the uh, pre-driver, the driver and the IRL 510 here which is uh, connected to this large uh, heat sink. Uh, you can also see the low pass filter that's connected to the output of the IRL 510. So the first step in configuring the power amplifier is to set the uh, gate threshold voltage at the IRF uh, 510 and the way that's done is by adjusting this bias uh, pot here. So what I've done, I've broken the power trace that's feeding the uh, the amplifier, the uh, IRF 510 and I've, I've connected a ammeter uh, in series uh, with that trace, with the broken trace and I'll be showing the current here and as well I've got a voltmeter here connected to the gate of the uh, IRF 510 so I'll be able to see the voltage at the gate. So what I'll be doing is I'll be adjusting this pot uh, until I get approximately 100 milliamps of current flowing into the amplifier and at that point uh, the gate uh, threshold voltage, I'm just right at the gate threshold voltage and the uh, IRF 510 is just about to turn on. The data sheet for the IRF 510 shows the gate threshold voltage VGS to be in the neighborhood of 2 to 4 volts. The amplifier is powered on and I'm showing that the IRF 510 is drawing uh, 78 milliamps and the gate voltage is uh, 3.9 volts so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the bias pot so that I can get um, 100 milliamps here. So I'm adjusting the pot and right at that adjustment it's drawing uh, right about 100 milliamps and the gate voltage is uh, 3.9 almost 4 volts. So at that point uh, the uh, IRF 510 is now uh, biased properly and I can check the power output. To measure the output of the amplifier I've got scope probe uh, 1 here, channel 1, connected to the output of the low pass filter which is connected to a dummy load, a 50 ohm uh, dummy load, and I've got uh, my other scope probe, channel 2, connected to the gate of the uh, IRF 510. So that way I can see the input to the IRF 510 and I can see the output from the, uh, the amplifier. The setup I've got here is my uh, signal generator here which is connected to my variable attenuator which right now is set to 50 dB of attenuation and the output from this is connected to the input of the amp the amplifier. So what I'll be doing, I'll be generating a signal and I'll be monitoring the output voltage that's uh, coming out of the uh, the amplifier that's going into my dummy load and I'll be uh, reducing the attenuation until I see 5 watts coming out which is approximately 45 volts uh, peak to peak and I can uh, verify that on my scope and as well I'll be able to see what the uh, voltage is, is on the gate that's uh, driving the IRF uh, 510. I'll be also be able to measure the current that's uh, required to draw 5 amps and the other benefit is I'll be able to connect this once I get 5 watts coming out I'll be able to measure the signal that's being fed into the amplifier to know how much uh, what uh, strength signal, how much power I need to be fed into the uh, input of the amplifier to drive 5 watts. So with 50 dB of attenuation I'm seeing about approximately 230 milliamps of current draw here are the voltages that's uh, being output from the amplifier into the dummy load. I'm seeing approximately 13 volts peak to peak. 
and I'm seeing approximately 1.8 volts peak to peak uh, at the gate of the IRF 510. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, reduce the attenuation. So at 40 dB of attenuation, it's uh, drawing approximately 750 milliamps. The DC gate voltage has not changed. And the output I'm seeing is uh, 44 volts peak to peak into the 50 ohm dummy load, which is very close to 5 watts. And I'm seeing approximately 4.8 volts uh, peak to peak at the gate of the IRF 510. So at that point, it looks as if I'm uh, almost at uh, 5 watts. And the IRF 510 is uh, getting, it's getting hot at this point because I've been running it for a couple of minutes at that, uh, at that power. I've now connected the attenuator with the 40 dB of attenuation. I've got it connected to my spectrum analyzer. And here you can see the output from the attenuator is approximately minus 49 uh, dBm. So the power required to drive uh, the power amp to get uh, uh, just about 5 watts out of it is about 49, minus 49 uh, dBm.